Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host of Talking Three Hole Ball Club. Today we're going over a fun gun on the channel, and that's going to be the AK-105. Now, we're not doing the 74. We did the 74 already, but we're doing, well, technically they're both 74. We're doing the 105. Now, this gun is worthy of looking at because she is pure sex appeal, and it is a hot mama jamma. Now, of course, my disclaimers for the channel. Uh, this is no expert. I'm no pro on AKs in any way, shape, or form. I'm no authority. So before we go any further, feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. This is all just opinion, observation, having fun on the range, showing off cool guns that I find cool personally, or that I find at least mildly interesting. And of course, this is going to be in the wicked cool factor. This gun is, I'm going to be honest with you, it kind of like it goes hard like I really like this setup and of course we already had him on the channel before but Mr. Ivan number one if you could pop on over here real quick now I've had you sorry about the bike I've had you on already and it's good to have you on again to talk about this gun this is your 105 yet again I'm not trying to like sell anybody anything right now this is just showing off for the cool factor because I love guns mm -hmm. now this is your 105 what's the story on this gun man how'd you build yeah. it out how'd you get it so I got a oh, here we go I got a Bulgarian parts kit yeah. 105 parts kit, original barrel, original uh, Bulgarian parts. Mm -hmm. I sent it over to uh, Lee Armory and they built it up pretty fast and stuff. And so decked it out with Zenico, mm -hmm. Zenico stock. Uh, I got a vampire light on here and I got a pursed right here. I forgot which purse number because they're all weird. Yeah, no, yeah. I think it's the four, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, yep, all that shit. So it's visible and uh, IR also, and it's full power too. Yeah. So. The green laser looks pretty good on it. Oh there. yeah, yeah, and it's super, super bright. Yeah. But yeah, and this thing, f**ks. It does. Pretty hard. It goes. It goes very yeah. hard. Yeah. Uh, ALG trigger, US Palm grip. Mm. And I think that is everything about this. That's it, really. It's so weird, like when you deck an AK out like that, how good it looks. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? And it, it is frustrating how much it does take to make an AR like modular, or sorry, to make an AK like this modular, like an AR. Mm -hmm. But once you do get to that point, there's just this weird, sexy X factor. Oh yeah. Yeah. And one of the cool things about this muzzle device in particular, uh, it's like one baffle in here. Mm -hmm. So it's that much closer to being like almost a suppressor. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it really, it really cuts down on the concussion and all that stuff. So it's really awesome. I love that. Yeah. It was definitely a blast to shoot. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna kick you off now. I'm gonna talk about Ooh. it. Now, real quick, I'm just gonna talk about what it was like to shoot. Well, <laughs> trigger was fantastic. Recoil and pulse was amazing. And it's a hot little piece of ass. Oh, it's nice. That's really nice. What trigger is that? ALG. ALG, nice. Did you already say that? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I'm bad at hearing. Personally, I really do like how Ivan set this gun up. He did a very good job. You know, it's really hard to go wrong with Zenico furniture, the top rail dust cover, and then, of course, all his IR setup for running Nas with the gun. There is this weird, really weird sex appeal like we were saying about AKs. You know, the, when the AK is all modulared out like this and just how it feels and how it, how it just functions in the arms, there's something like this weird aggressive feeling that you get when you have an AK like this. You just feel meaner. And it's really hard to put your finger on the pulse of that, but to my AK guys, you know. To my AR guys that aren't AK guys, per se, one day you'll grow up and find out. So it's really cool. And, you know, the downside about AKs like this, the 74 line, is that they are getting a little bit more scarce. <laughs> they are getting a little bit more scarce, getting a little bit more expensive. You know, we all hear the stories back in the day where, like, I sold a, a fantastic Russian AK for, you know, $700, my camera guy, and it really hurts, right? It hurts the soul when you think about it. No, it's okay, buddy. We'll, we'll be okay. And, you know, you hear those sad stories. Now these AKs are going for exuberant amounts of money, you know, pushing fifteen, two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000. How much does the setup run you? Yeah, you lost count. See, yeah. that's, what I, that's exactly what I mean, is that these things get pretty expensive. Of course, when you, if you want to go the legal route, which is pretty lame, but of course, you have your tax stamp in it already, and then, of course, the gun, how much it costs, attachments, all this, rails. The Nico stuff is not cheap, but I think it's worth it. It's properly heavy, and it gives me Larry Vickers hanging out with Spetsnaz vibes. This thing's hot, man. You did a really good job. Thanks, dude. You did a really good job. Thanks for coming on the channel and showing it off, dude. I have become death destroyer of memes. Joe, hey, if you enjoyed this quick little look at the 105, this is one any 
in-depth video on it by any means way shape or form yet again we're showing it off for fun but feel free to like and subscribe with a comment in the comment section down below your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm god a god of which who enjoys cheese and black sea caviar if you want to support the channel in any way shape or form feel free to head over over to patreon and or buy some merchandise it really helps out the channel and i appreciate you all greatly as always stay easy stay breezy and i will catch you on the flip Nice. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, the Talking Stripes. <laughs> All right. Ready, ready, camera guy. Good evening, for LARP News Network. I am Lou Sassel, and this week, this week's. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let's make it more kinetic. I just want to say, 